What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So we're talking about AMC today and um, talking through this in the pre-market, I was asking for a V-shaped recovery, not this big of like a V-shaped recovery. I mean, I'm happy that we're getting back to where we were rather than dipping down as far as we did, but I wanted to talk about something specific. And I know you're probably saying, hey, get to the point of why you had you know such a bold title here. Um, well, I wanted to let you guys know, and I will get to that point, I wanted to let you guys know that even though we're seeing, you know, Ortex data that may come back as like either slightly positive, you know, really negative towards our situation and, you know, getting the the share counts of what's being loaned out and what's being returned. Um, it, it's a different story when you look at it. And I like to make this point in every single video is that, you know, um, shares that were that were loaned out that were taken out on loan doesn't mean that's the shorted shares right so before we get started into all this detail the price action the ortex data fintel data um the main purpose of this video um hit the like button also hit the subscribe button and make sure you check out some of my other videos i'm also doing um uh, a stream over on twitch i believe you know a couple of days a week it's not going to be every day um and we'll figure out a schedule there i know there's a lot of other things that i'm getting into and especially dealing with work right now it's a little ridiculous but that is for another video i guess or it's not even part of any video anyways let's go ahead and uh break down amc so in the morning um you know we didn't really see the most positive movement right we did get back to basically uh, break even passing over um you know different levels to where we're actually positive on the day right it, it was pretty good seeing that seeing that jump up but you know every time we see a jump up they obviously pull us back down and we seen it consolidate for a little bit to where it got to about seven o'clock um where it fell yet again consolidated increased um you know quite a bit and then consolidated a little bit more after opening to where everybody thought you know it might be a positive day seeing how it was a 12 percent day the the day before and then decreased all the way down to like six percent i mean not six percent positive six percent negative going from 12 percent positive to six percent negative is ridiculous so um anyways we we saw this uh go down to about 30 to where that v-shape recovery was uh pretty good but um, it had something else in mind. It had a larger recovery um, or a larger pull down to set up a larger recovery, um, you know, set for the future, right? You're looking at $29 that it did get to, $29.40 of a low. And after that, you see this V-shaped recovery where you're creating newer highs, newer lows, higher highs, higher lows, right? You're starting to create this higher high here. Are you gonna create a higher low? possibly but we're looking at some positive movement from here on out and i mean that total v-shape recovery is what we really called for i expected to see something here and then recover a lot more well over and see it increase quite a bit now we've seen 65 million shares worth of volume which is not our highest day yesterday we did see a good you know 100 plus million shares worth of volume which was insane this morning um, when we opened up, the pre-market was around 2.4 million shares or 2.5 million shares. Um, and that was uh, pretty telling of what would happen. You know, um, we obviously we're going to have a lot of volume, but it just it doesn't make sense how we are decreasing this much. People aren't really selling that much. We know that shorting is going through. And this video is kind of going to explain that right so without um pushing this on uh too much longer let's go into the ortex data because we don't know where we're going to finish at hopefully finish at break even that would be amazing but they're trying to keep us down um for some reason but we can see that the estimated shorted shares actually increased from being at 80 i think like 88 yesterday now being at 94.5 million shares and i actually haven't reloaded this so let me check if i reload it so yeah 94.5 million shares we have a um you know, plus 2.87% short interest change. Looking at the borrowed shares, um, you know, 4.38 million shares. And remember, this doesn't mean that it was shorted shares, even though it is still high compared to the return shares. Um, they have 18.48% um, short interest to free float. You're looking at the shares on loan at 105.38 million and the utilization at 94.42. Now, the main point I wanted to drive home is the fact that you think that um, this is just 18% short. There has to be more that's going into it. Every single day, we see a crazy amount, tens of millions of shares go through 
right? And this is just FINRA volume, right? This right here is just FINRA volume. And it's not including all volume because you obviously know yesterday we had 100 plus million shares, but they shorted 57% of um, this volume, of the FINRA volume. This is insane to see. 57%. I know that's what you're calling out. You're probably saying, hey, you know what? Um, this is giving you information, but it's not giving you all of the information. And yes, I mean, I like to take percentages. Whenever I take percentages of, say, a stat line, um, I apply that percentage um, based on, you know, history. And I look at a lot of things that have happened um, throughout the information that we do have. So if you look at 63 million shares, you're going to say, okay, well, out of the other 40 million, 40 plus million shares, you're going to say that they probably shorted around maybe 40 to 50%, maybe even 60% of that. You never really even know. So seeing 60% or 57% of the FINRA volume being short in one day is absolutely crazy. And then seeing this on other days, 53%, 57%, 48%, 38%, seeing all of these you know, shorts go through, it really doesn't line up with exactly what we're seeing, you know, in um, you know the markets, right? So I understand we're seeing it um, drop on other days, but this is a day where we actually seen it increase quite a bit and then start to fall down. So I guess we did see that there, but you know, the short, the shorted shares. I mean, it's just not lining up. The picture's not lining up. What we see in the amount of shorted shares, the amount of short interest at 18% or 19% or whatever, doesn't really line up with the amount of shorted shares we see in FINRA, you know, and doesn't line up with the amount of shorted shares <coughs> um, that's going through or what's happening in the chart. So we understand that we're being attacked. And this is why a lot of people hold onto their, their positions. We're being attacked. I'm going to hold. I'm not telling you to do anything you don't want to do, but I know that I'm going to hold this position and I don't care if it gets to a point to where this hits zero. I really don't care because it's driving home a message at this point and it's a little ridiculous um, for them to continue to do this, double, triple, quadruple down. And I was talking to a lot of my subscribers, a lot of my members and people in the Discord group about the fact that this could take a while for it to happen. And you need to have, you need to be uh, strong willed. You need to hold on to, you know, what you believe in. And then you can go from there. I mean, it's going to be tough. It may be a tough road. They might give up quick. But in the history of, you know, people with money trying to make more money and proving that they're right rather than proving that they're wrong um, or showing that they're wrong um, has never really gone our way. And if it did, it takes a ton of time i.e. the you know the big short the mortgage crisis took how many years so anytime they we know they're wrong and they know they're wrong they're stubborn that's just what's going to happen so i'm sticking to what i believe in and we're going to go from there so guys let me know what you think about this 57 percent um we know we didn't have the best day today but um it's it's good to see a little bit of a recovery after they short the hell out of this thing and they continue to do that every single day but make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one thank you guys for watching remember there's no stream tomorrow or the stream next day streaming the next day but i will um upload some videos as i have time so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video